you are flawlessly yourself. Every form of you from then till now is the perfect version of you to get to the next version of you. Well, hey, it's DeLorean Black, Hitmakers Weekend, Beatstar Sony. Let's go. Honestly, it was in elementary school, me and my cousin, or not even me and my cousin, was, well, I called him my cousin, me and my homie, we just started writing music in our agendas, just lyrics, and we would freestyle battle in math class. And I never really tried to get into it like that until later on. So I really started 2018 and I was just like, yo, I want to try producing because I'm always styling these artists. It started with like these big artists. I was with Abel, that was my guy, Post Malone, that was my guy, you know, we were party together, whatever. And from there, I'm just like, yo, I got all these connects to these people. Let me utilize it somehow, you know? So it's just like, all right, boom, I'm gonna start making beats. And it's like, da 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 da. Got into the right rooms, got a little song called Money in the Grave. Something had to give. All right, I'm good at making the beats. Let me try a little songwriting. Like, let's go. You know, I tried to do a little, not even try to do, I did make a song for myself. A girl got over a million plays on Spotify, it's uh, trending on TikTok, no promotion. So I'm like, all right, this is something, you know, this sub, uh, substance in this uh, little thing that I'm doing. So I just kept it going. And here I am, Hitmakers Weekend. My mom was this little young teeny bopper model Ford Elite. And she was always listening to the newest and latest house music, dance music. So it's just like these days, if I can't move to the music, I'm not even all the way there with it. So every time I make a beat, every time I make a song, it's just gotta be like that, 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 that. It's gotta have some form of rhythm. Even if it's a trap beat, I gotta incorporate that, you know, that little pockets in there and stuff like that, you know? So always had that dance in me. She gave me my first few albums when I was just like, high school, I think. I really tapped into that later on in life, but it was always house music, dance music. I did some merch with my homie for ASAP, the ASAP Mob. They came to Toronto for this party and whatever. So it was from there, we were just like doing simple shit. But yeah, I think it was from my mom, honestly, because she was and is such a fashionable woman. Like you would see her and you just be like, yo, I get it. I get it. And there's like pictures of her with like black cowboy hat on, all blacked out, you know. Um, but realistically, I wasn't fully on that like high fashion wave until, you know, recently, like in my later years. And I just really tapped in and started, you know, wearing all the shades, covering my face and stuff like that. And just wearing all the chains on my belt, whatever, you know. I call it dark west or dark luxury but the sound also transfers, so my sound is Dark West. I wanna say the genres that I create, but then I don't wanna put it out there yet. It all correlates together. The look matches the sound, I can assure you. Started with ASAP Rocky, and then I met Posty, and he was always showing love, like he would wear my hat and stuff like that. Any celebrity artist that I came into contact with they would usually see me first and just off rip, just off the strength, they would be like, yo, you know what? Like, I, I just wanna fuck with you on that level, you know? So it was pretty simple. It didn't have to be like, oh yeah, like, you should try this and this and that. And sometimes even these days, I don't care how big the artist is, I just hit up their team or them and they usually hit me back and I'll just be like, hey, I'll give you artists a style they'll never have, you know, from anyone else. And that's usually enough. And they just be like, all right, boom, pull up. There's fashion and then there's style. Fashion, you could literally go to any store, Gucci, Louis, Prada, whatever, and just buy the whole shit. But at the end of the day, if you're just a fashion person, you're a walking hanger, you know? Style is something different. Style comes from the core of the soul. When you see me, you see my DNA. You don't have to see my face to see me. When it came to that, everything that I do has to be seen as my core, my DNA. So it's just like, if you hear 
the kind of spider web drums that I'm doing that you might not have heard anywhere else, that's because that's how I interpret the sound, you know, that's how I interpret the sonics. It's the DNA strand, you know, it's coming out like that. So when it comes to the brand, it just has to be different. It has to be me. And it's not just a me thing. Anybody could do it, you know, just aim to be unapologetically yourself because that's what really shines. Cause like everybody wants to be able to be themselves fully. And if they don't know how, then they might gravitate to somebody who does know how. That's when you start to see the big celebrities, you know, getting that mass following is cause they're really like putting themselves out there like that, you know? So what I promote is really like tapping into yourself, tapping into your core. I preach that relentlessly. It first started cause I'm a, like a visual artist first. My original passion is to be an actor, film director, and a cartoonist. So how I got into music was really random. I think at the end of the day, it came down to just self-expression because I always did poetry and stuff like that. And I was always listening to music and that music just flows through me. It's like exploding in my soul. So I had to get it out. I at least had to try. And if it didn't work out, then it didn't work out. I'll probably still make music, you know, just for the kicks, but it worked out. So I'm just like, all right, this is what I want to do because it's like effortless for me. It just coincides with everything, you know, like being able to translate how you feel on the inside and just splattering it out, pause on to like <laughs> the painting, the easel, the canvas, I mean, you know, on the books, like the word pad, the notepad, the microphone, like just to the masses, you know, that's that's uh you can't compare that sometimes my own music is what an artist would choose say how the weekend had some songs for drake or something that was supposed to be on his album and da -da 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 -da. so sometimes it goes like that i do like to you know incorporate sounds into my sound and vice versa so if i do a song that's close enough to my sound for another artist that doesn't take it for example then i'll like take it flip it around and you know have it in the vault for my own stuff other than that i don't find it's too complicated to bounce in between two worlds i'm a pisces so I'm, i live in between two worlds you know but regardless of anything, I feel like if it comes natural, it comes natural. It shouldn't be like, oh yeah, I gotta do this now, I gotta do this now. Like I could do as many songs as I want in a day. I could do as many designs as I want in a day. It just comes down to, you know, if you got that timeless mind state, then you're not on the clock. Cause if your shit is fire, your shit is fire. And when the time is right, the time is right. So that's all there is to it. Basically, I wanted to just forward my career in terms of a producer and I did not know how to do that because I was with another label that really wasn't doing anything for me. And I just seemed like a community over here. And now that I've been here for Hitmakers Week, it's clear to see real family here. So it's just like wild because I don't ever get to experience anything like that. So just to know that it exists is very, you know, it's a pleasuring thing for my soul. Sev Delisa, Toro Imwa, James Blake, um, Earth Eater, Arca. I, I love obscure shit, you know, like I could name a bunch of stuff, but if I had to name some more mainstream, I'll be like 070 Shake, um, FK Twigs, Tizio Touchdown, like, his shit, I feel like we would do some damage, like for sure. Posty, of course, The Weeknd, like all the all the ones you would expect. You know, I'm not prejudiced, I'm not picky. Like, I just want to tap into all markets. Right now I'm doing K-pop stuff, I'm doing country stuff. I'll do disco if it comes back. I'll make it come back, you know what I mean? So like, don't matter to me. You are flawlessly yourself, every form of you from then till now is the perfect version of you to get to the next version of you. Whatever you feel like you wanna do in life, whether it's producing, writing, anything, just make sure you do it unapologetically because once you start to put yourself in a box and think about what should I do because this is the, the trending thing to do, this is the trending thing to do, fuck all that, you know, you'll get to that. But the first thing to know is you gotta know how to create the mold 
perfectly so you can break it. The key is always to break it. You don't have to always break it. You can, you know, stay in the mold and do your little thing like that. But to get noticed, you want to break it and be able to keep it digestible, be able to keep it marketable. But always remember to be yourself. Never forget that part.